I'm Charlie McGraw with Fab TV. So first of all, I want to know um, a little about each of you and what this film actually meant to you. You know. First. Um, um, you know, the the film melt, meant a lot to me. It started off as a play that was written by J. C. Lee, mm -hmm. and what I loved about the play was that it was exploring all these issues around identity, around race, around class, around gender. But it was doing it in a way that asked us as an audience what we thought, what we believed, and you know, left it up to us to take away from the film what we believed and what we thought. And you know, as somebody who's dealt with many of the issues of identity that are at the core of the film, um, uh, I just love that the story was respecting that. And um, I was very excited about taking that and transfer it over to a film so it could reach even more people. Because, you know, with, with theater, unfortunately, there's limits to how many people can access something. But with the film, if it can get out there, then more people get to see and experience the story. Yeah, for me, it was, I was just really fascinated with the, with the, the power, um, almost indirectly loose kind of kids because he has these white parents right. and how that um, affects him in his, his everyday life in, in a negative way and in a positive way, the benefits and the repercussions of it all and how that kind of works in tangent with his relationship with Octavia's ca ca character, the teacher. Right. So that whole dynamic in and of itself is something I really wanted to explore to figure out, you know, what are these expectations and what is this pressure and what is this box I've been placed in and exactly. how do I feel about it? Yeah. So. Um, okay, so I want to know, like, you, you made a lot of interesting pairs throughout this film, you know, like, can we talk about what each of them represent? Like, you know, Luce's parents, what do they represent? Uh, Luce and Stephanie, what do they represent? And Wilson and her sister, what was, you know, the message between that relationship as well? Yeah, I mean, the goal with the movie, again, hopefully was not to just digest things down to, mes to messages, but to really leave people with questions. Mm -hmm. But in terms of each one of these pairings of people, I think they all are built around fundamental questions of power and privilege in our country. You have these two parents who are white, who adopt a white kid, who adopt a young black oh, kid yeah. from, from, from Eritrea. And on one hand, the hope is to uplift him, give him opportunities he doesn't have. Right. But on the other hand, he's treated like a symbol and has these unfair standards of expectation and perfection that he has to uh, uphold. So there's a real question there of, well, is he allowed to be a human being? Is he allowed to have the same complexity and messiness yeah. as any other person would have? In the relationship between Luce and Stephanie, you have a really complex situation here of two young people who are navigating their identities, navigating uh, sexuality, navigating the sense of who they are, this horrible thing happens and there's a real question of, well, what responsibility does Luce have to Stephanie? What responsibility does Stephanie have, which is the question that Harriet asks her, to act as a symbol of victimhood? Does she need to now go out and tell her story or can she just be who she is and try to grapple with it and learn as a 17-year-old and as the big man on campus, is it Luce's job to support her? Or is it Luce's job to try and protect his friends, especially his black friends, who could be very negatively damaged by the impact of what happened to her? Right. And lastly, with Harriet and her sister, right? You have this situation where, you know, one sister has achieved everything you would hope, right? She's a teacher. Right. She's much like Luce, this incredible symbol as a strong black woman. And the other sister who's dealing with mental health issues, who kind of encapsulates the worst stereotypes of what it means to be black and to be poor. Exactly. How do you support that person? Do you have to distance yourself so you can rise up? Or do you bring that person in and worry about the reflection that they have on you? So in each one of these parents, there are very complex questions to be asked. And ultimately for the audience, the hope is, well, what would you do in that situation? Not, not, not what you should you believe, mm -hmm. but what would you do in that situation? That's what makes it all a little scary itself, our yeah. answer is. Mm -hmm. But I wish I could ask you more questions, but we have to wrap it up. But thank you. Thank for you so much, Shadis. <laughs>